Welcome to a snowy afternoon in the woods. I'm here to talk to you about helmet safety. I'm on my bike. It's snowing. It's beautiful, but it's slippery. I want to make sure my helmet's on the right way. What's the helmet going to do if you're in a crash? Well, the helmet's probably going to break, and that's what it's designed to do. This hard shell on the outside, it's going to keep all the foam that the inside is made of, it's going to keep it together. What's the foam going to do if you're in a crash? The foam is probably going to crack, it's probably going to compress and squish, and it's doing that because it's absorbing a lot of energy from the impact of the crash. And you want the helmet to absorb that energy so it doesn't go into your brain. So you really gotta make sure it's level on your head. And the best way to do that is by using your fingers, two of them, salute above your eyebrow, and that's about how much space you should have. You can also look up and you can just barely see the helmet. I like to use my two fingers as a good guide. So the first trick, eyes. Helmet's gotta be buckled on your head and you really want these straps even in tension. And you want them to go around the ear. So think peace sign. Two fingers, two fingers here as well. Both sides. That's gonna keep the helmet from rocking. Peace sign on both sides. Lastly, gotta buckle up. Two fingers again, under that chin strap. They should barely fit. Two fingers, under the chin strap. And if I'm out now, I can really move my head. The helmet's gonna stay right where I put it. That's really important. Then I know my helmet's on correctly. So what are the three things again? Two fingers above the eyebrow, two finger peace sign around the ear, two fingers under the chin. So wear your helmet. Better to be safe than sorry. The helmet's gonna protect your brain so you can enjoy this great world that we live in. Till next time, I'm Bicycle Eric. Adios.